Hi, I am Roxy. I am here to ask you to do something for Steve6464. Can you watch as much of the video that you can? Then before you leave, leave a comment, make it a critique, a constructive criticism. Thanks. Oh, he's about to start. Bye.
Hello, hello, finally. Testing, 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 testing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Anybody out there, how does that sound? All right, we'll go through one more. Oh, yeah, well, we'll do this. Hi. Got my sound working finally. Thank you for <coughs> indulging me, waiting, patience. Um, I am Steve6464. This is uh, Season 7, Part 1 of Let's Build This, making a video. I'll be taking the next few weeks or however long to um, uh, show you that the the steps and pains I go through to make a video. This uh, this particular video is going to hopefully explain why some of the continents from the space videos or, or photos look bigger in some shots and not as big in other shots. But before we get um, before we start on that, let's uh, look at the project we finished up last week. Let's review last week.
Ugh. Microphones are not my forte. Getting, remember, remember turning them on. Is it? Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to really explain everything I just explained. I am creating a new document that's going to be 200% the size of um, uh, 1920 by 1080, which is 3840 by 2160. And I want a white background, although it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. There we go. If I fill the screen with it, how much will it cut off? Oh, I can use that. All right, I'm going to um, select all, then do gener, then do um, Photoshop's generative fill, and this is where. The, um, the word program comes in because I want to do space and st stars T A R S and what this will allow me to do also is I'll have all the information I need for when I am. Um, when I post this on YouTube or post it on um, Renderosity where I, I post a lot of my um, artwork they insist especially if you use um, AI fill to list everything you've um, they want to know all your prompts I don't think I'll be able to interact much in the chat. Yeah, but that covers um, that covers up my um, why can't I think? covers up my uh, word processing program. This is really kind of wonky, isn't it? This is... Okay, I'm looking at um, YouTube here. This is now my OBS. I guess that's centered enough. Let's make it a bit bigger. All right, let's go back to um, here. All right, so we have this one. have this and we have this one one two three I doubt there's anyone in the chat but if you prefer one type type the number that you prefer one for this one, two for this one, or three for this one, and um, maybe I'll try another set of three. So let's um, sit generate again and get another set of three.
Okay, four, five, or six. I don't like six, and I don't like four. Um, they had there was a bright it generated a bright light coming up four had a bright light coming this way six had one coming this way and I'm going to be mostly in the center here I probably shouldn't use that one I don't know if I like that Now, I might use this one. I want to try one more set of three. Yeah, this has this bright light down here. Yeah, this one, bright light here. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. <clears throat> Get rid of all these others. Alright, let's... Um, flatten this image All right. save it okay, this is a project I was working on yesterday for my church uh, let's build this and what did I name the folder? I know I named it, made a folder. I didn't make a folder for this? Surely I had to. And don't call me Shirley. Huh. I thought I set up <sighs> I thought I pre-set up animation oh here it is <clears throat> alright we're going to Gonna make a new folder. And we're gonna call this background backgrounds and text textures. Alright. And open this up. And I'm gonna call this um, space. space background and no compression all right let's close this there it is uh, I have pre-made a um, a grid
and God only knows where I hit it have to hit uh, searching for that again I didn't call it grid, or maybe it's next level up. See what this one is. But I think I would have saved it as a TIFF, not just as a Photoshop. Oh, okay. Getting close. Getting close. Okay, we're going to have to do this this way. See, I wanted to I thought I had put all this stuff together. There we go. Alright, let's save this right away. Into... our working folder. And I'm going to save it as a TIFF. No compression, no shorthanding. It's telling me there's layers. But I don't see any layers. Alright, so this is a... Um, <coughs> it's a 10 by 10 217 pixels per inch. Each one of these squares <coughs> is an inch. But what I'm going to be doing is when I convert this into a ball, is we're going to be really close in on this area. And I want to be more, <coughs> I want to be more precise. I want to be able to figure out what percent, what sort of circle we're actually, um, we're seeing. So I want to put more lines. I want to divide these squares um, into quarters, actually at least sixteenths. But I don't want to do that for all, for all ten rows and ten columns. I want to see if maybe I can do it just for two or th two and then copy and paste the rest. So what I think I will do is I will large, enlarge in this first square. Right. And 
bring a guideline to half. I'm going to go a little bigger here so I can be a bit more accurate. Not that it matters, I guess. I mean, the more accurate I am, the better everything is, right? Alright, that's half. That's a quarter. And that's three quarters. And then I want to do the same thing horizontally, right? Half. Quarter. Three quarters. And I do want to do this on a separate layer. All right, get my pencil tool and I do want to do a blue. I want to make sure it's not the same blue as the guidelines. Oh, let's push it a little bit towards the magenta, just to be different. All right, okay. Okay, so blue grid R G. B is red is 92, green is 5, and blue is 253. And say okay. All right, next is two pixels. I don't want it as thick as the black line, but I think we can go a little thicker. Let's go to four. How does that look? Okay. go a little bit smaller so I have a gutter space so I have room on the edges to overdraw okay. click shift see if this works yes it does all right Snap to the guide. I had better look up at the top. Click, shift, click again. And a third time. Shift, click. Okay. Change this back to normal. And let's 
select this. Oh, I got an idea. <coughs> Let's make sure we grab the columns. Oh wait, that's on a different level, isn't it? Well, let's see. So, copy. And paste. And... I'm just going to make a layer for every time. And let's hide the guide so we can see. Oh, that's what I can do, right? I can put a guide in. See, I really wanted this to be have been underneath. Well, it's going a little better than I originally thought, so that's good. I'm going to have to figure out some way of bringing the black on top. But that's another problem. So yeah, a lot of my videos are like this, a lot of monotonous A lot of stuff that takes patience. If there is anybody watching, please say hi. Roxy would appreciate it. Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh, one more yet. Oh, 
thought I was through, and I have one more. It's hate when that happens. All right, let's look what we have so far. All right, if that's not a headache, I think what I want to do next is merge all these into one layer. All right, merge visible. Let's make this background unvisible, invisible, and do a merge visible. There we go. So we can adjust all of these as one unit. All right, I'm gonna make it a little easier on my eyes. I'm gonna turn that off. Grab my pencil and do this again on a new layer. Click, shift, click, release. Line up, click, shift. Shift, click again. Very good, very good. Save, save, save early, save often. All right, copy. Do we want to do it? Oh no, no, we need that white. Zoom. and paste and adjust go down to the next box throw in our guideline paste and adjust. Rinse and repeat. This is so much easier though than trying to draw in 30 lines, 60 lines. center that more okay
that the middle left image is rolling it's because that screen is a um, television screen and not a monitor screen so I imagine it's refresh rate is a little off than the refresh rate of the camera hence the rolling effect Almost messed up. Stop that. Almost. No, Doc. There we go. Alright, we're done. I am going to, before I dis display the whole thing, is I'm going to merge all visibles. Alright. There we go. There's our grid. Not too dizzling. <clears throat> All right. So what I want to do next is I want these the blacks to be on the black lines to be on top. Went back to my base layer. See if I can select just the black. Yep. explain that okay that's why that's why in previous attempts the seam when I made the ball was a different was a different uh, thickness How many pixels are these black lines? I forgot. It's not going to show me the grid. The pixel grid? Come on. Really? I think it was six. So I'm going to change this then to three.
and draw my line on the edge. Click, shift, click. Did anything draw? No, of course not. It didn't. There we go. Grab my magic wand and select. There we go. Copy. New layer. Paste. Let's do paste into all right so the blue line should be underneath the black now excellent created a layer. We don't need that layer. Don't need that layer. Okay. One more thing I want to do or do I? What the heck? Let's do it. I want to put a little some sort of reference right so let's get a green and let's get a true blue Right, we don't need, to. and let's do a um, <coughs> render clouds. And is that going to render in this? Well, that's just not fun. All right, well, let's make a new layer. We'll render on the new layer. Yes. Render, render clouds. Let's switch the cloud colors around and try that again. That is really dark. Well, I will lighten that up. I will lighten that up before I save it. I just want to do one more thing. Oh, grab the... Yeah. And say it last. Let's make that uh, 32 pixels and grab the blue all right that's not nearly enough let's double that all right 64 plus 32 is 96 
one more time. Let's um, expand it 20, see how that goes. Let's expand it again, another 10. All right, let's, um, let's Feather this a bit, not a whole lot. Definitely not 40. Let's go 5. Let's grab a yellow. I don't think I want a pure yellow. Let's grab a little orangey yellow. Right there. And let's stroke this. Now let's see how that looks. I think I want more yellow. So, 20. Okay. That's, that's, that's okay. And we want to lighten this. I'm just going to reduce the opacity. Um, 62%. I wonder if I should do it more, because I'm going to be drawing on top of this later on. Let's try 38%. What well, if I try something other than... I never did like Dissolve. Dark and multiply. Color burn. It's gone. Linear burn. Lighten. It's gone. Multiply. I don't see a difference between multiply and normal. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at normal. I am going to save this in layers. Save as grid. Small lines. Layers, L A Y E R S layers. Tiff. Yep. With the lines, with the layers. All right. Then next, I am going to flatten the image, make all the layers go bye bye, and save this as small lines grid small lines texture 
tiff. No compression. All right, that's at least for today. That's oh no, wait. I want to see how Photoshop does in rendering this into a sphere. I haven't been. Oh, I had used. Okay. <clears throat> when I tried this a few days ago, I had used depth map, which explains why it took the black lines and indented them. What I want is mesh present sphere. See how that looks. I don't think the black lines are indenting or creating a um, like a cutout. Does bother me, however. That uh, they're rectangles and not squares. <sighs> but, case or raw. Alright, now let's export this. Export. Or is it here? Export 3D layer. And I prefer Wavefront OBJ. Probably should use metric, but at the moment. I'm going to keep it in inches because I understand that better. Let's click OK. <clears throat> the reason I reduced it from 5 to 1 is it comes into Poser way too big. OK. I am going to change this from to grid small ball OBJ. All right, and that is that for Photoshop. No, do not change. All right, so before I switch to Poser, I need to do change scenes here in um, OBJ. And I am changing to Poser. Right. And I can close Poser. I mean Photoshop. Just to save the RAM. And I should have killed out. Oh well. I'll do that next time. Alright. So I am um, importing. I am not. I'm going to do that later. First thing I am going to do is set up my workspace. Set up my render dimensions. 
and of course I didn't write those down render to exact and not constrain so 1920 times 2 let me write this down work size width height width is 338 3840 pixels and the height will be 2160 pixels okay three eight or five eight four zero next line twenty one sixty the reason I am at two hundred percent of my final image is because um, when you reduce it it should be sharper I don't know if the um, Am I actually still broadcasting? Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm going to keep going anyhow. All right. Uh, bring in... my background do I want to do it as a texture or do I want my background to be my background sorry um, something's going on with YouTube here all right that's probably too much I'm going to bring it in as a um, background that way when I change focal lengths and stuff I don't have to um, I don't have to worry about different ratio it's the same I am going to do it I'm going to do it the, the first way it's probably going to be a little more pain in the ass when it comes to animating Alright, I want primitives, morphing primitives, high res square, um, Main camera? Main camera is a dolly camera, I think, isn't it? Oh, just switch. Play it safe. Uh, clock plane is fine right now. Bring this up. Is it 90 or negative 90? It's 90. And 
the scale, if I remember correctly, and I do because I've done this before, is 177.777%. All right, now we go to the material room and we bring in our background. See how that renders. What I think I will do. Oh, I need to fix the lights and stuff. I think I'll work on this for another 20 25 minutes to 2.30 and call it a day. While we're waiting for this, what I'm planning is I going to split this in thirds. Oh, see, that's ugly. Have the uh, the sphere here in the center. Off to the left, have have something going on with Roxy, and then on the right here, have like technical information. But yeah, I think I should have left. the ambient alone Yeah, this is this is ugly. And let's in this way 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 back. It's 280 feet. And let's bring the scale back up. Still 280 feet back, but it's larger now. These cows are small. Those cows are far away. Okay, back to the material room. Lower the ambient. But let's 
let's add a little more glue to it. And we should save this. Yeah, I'm just going to call it what I've been on so far. Ball grid. Get some, rid of some of these unused lights. Yeah, just click the trash can. Boom. Uh, this light. Let's make it a spotlight. And shadows are like really blurry so it's really soft intensity goes up to maybe 3000% 100% it's angle 160 there we go my rotation I want it off to my left the scene's right I think it's minus 45 minus 45 yes all right this other light second remaining light that's already a spotlight with no shadows make it angle 160 also intensity 75% we'll see how that looks later zero zero Let's bring in our in our ball. Um, fifty percent. Okay, I'm copying the, the Y transition of my camera and I'm going to paste it into the Y transition of the globe of the ball. And I'm going to do that for the background too.
let's render this and see how it looks. You know, and I am going to need Photoshop. I'm not going to be able to see this whole thing, and I want to view the whole thing. <coughs> so while this is rendering, let me open Photoshop. Oh, and I want to change the, um... Yes, I want to change the, um... The method in which it's rendered. I think before I, I am going to export this one. I'm going to re-render it with the new changes. It's dark. Right, I'm glad to see that middle line came through. It wasn't showing in the preview. I guess that's, that's it there. Huh? All right. Um, render. Settings. Firefly. Remove back facing pixels and smooth polygons. And one ray trace should be enough. We don't need this bouncing light all over the place. All right. Let's take a look at this in um, the material room. All right, let's see what these new settings will render us.
need my transparent tape and a ruler. And we're done, almost. Already it's looking better. I can see from the preview. I think I still want that a little brighter. Let's export this. For image. I don't want this in the background textures. We'll just tiff. Ball grid test. Zero zero one. Tiff. Done. Go to Photoshop. Go to OBS. Turn on Photoshop. Put the sleep poser. File. Open. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's really dark. I mean, I do kind of like the lighting. Gives it some shape. But it's dark overall. Alright, let's go back to Poser. Wake up poser. Photoshop to sleep. Go back to preview. I think what I want to do is copy that light. Sun. Is it different? Okay, let's copy this light. Just copy it. There it is, duplicate. All right. So, I want this to be zero. And I want what I want to do is I want to turn off the other lights.
Okay, what's the ball at? What's the Z trans on the ball? Z trans on the ball is zero. Z trans on the light is zero. Chose the wrong light. No shell. Yeah, hopefully those two lights should be shining on the background. see what we get and I'm going over so after this render this will have to be will have to be it I have things to do.
let me export this to test two That might be too bright now, huh? Okay, um, Photoshop. OBS. Wake up Photoshop, put Poser to sleep. File open. Background looks nice. This is too dark for me. For what I'm doing. I mean, I like having shape. So, let's go back to Poser. So, um, I lied. I'm going to be a little longer because that's what I am. Preview light four is the fill. That was 75%. One hundred minus seventy five. I should know this divided by two. Let me increase it twelve and a half percent. It's eighty seven fifty. Eighty seven point five. That's what happened. It rotated on me. F forty five twenty two point five. And it was too bright overall too, isn't it? Okay. Come on, grab the Grab the pointer.
one more render. Yeah, it's probably really choppy, huh? The video, the stream. Yeah, that looks better so far at this point. Test three zero zero three. Go to Photoshop. Wake up Photoshop. Put poser to sleep. Open. Right. Fill the space. Fill the space. We can close this one. Alright, this is two. This is three. Two. Three. Well, it, this is still too dark. This is nice. I'm going to leave it the background is nice. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to leave it close Photoshop wake up poser Photoshop to sleep preview uh, one frame so thirty Save this. I do that so um, when I do come to animate it, and if the, if sometimes I find myself working on frame one, and then it'll somehow jump to frame twenty-five, and it messes everything up. So I am going to. Um, Do one more th thing. No, I'm going to do a couple more things. <laughs> I want to split this in thirds, right? And this is 11 and a half inches. Three point eight inches. And what does that work out to? <laughs> Let's do this in metric. It's just over 29 centimeters. Nine point six is a third. And I want actually I want the center to be a little bigger. So 
I'm just going to do 9 inches from 9 centimeters from each side. Don't like that. And this is always the fun part. It's just a ballpark. Anyhow, right? it's not going to be completely accurate. Okay. Next thing I want to do is go to the cameras, down the camera. And make this 0.125, one eighth of a millimeter. And let's move in. Now see, this is why. What's this? Oh, never mind. <clears throat> what happened to the... Yeah. Where's the... Um... <laughs> what happened to the... I know what happened to the ball. Yeah, where is the ball? Should be... So the ball is at transit zero, Z transit zero. Not minus twenty five. There we go. <coughs> All right. Yeah, this background is going to be a problem, isn't it? When I go and do...
something tells me something tells me I'm going to have a hard time doing what I want to do So what if I I really need to stop What if I do this I was so concerned about it coming in too big Disappears. Okay, I have to I have to stop. I will play I will play around with this during the week maybe. Maybe I just can't go that small. Yeah, I think um, I can't go that small on the focal length. 7 eighth. I'm going to have to go quarter inch or a quarter of a millimeter. I have a feeling I'm going to have to put <clears throat> put that in as a um, background. Probably not going to get that.
I'm probably not going to get that nice bright background either. But I can manipulate that in Photoshop. I really don't want to be doing this for two hours. I was hoping to keep it at an hour and a half. <clears throat> Actually hoping to keep it done in an hour, but <laughs> I gotta nitpick at stuff. too close we're looking through it okay whatever we will, um, we will play with this some more next week So, <clears throat> why does that always happen? All right, we didn't need a review next week again. We've already, we've already seen that. All right, well, thank you for um, joining me. I hope the last hour and 55 minutes hasn't been completely boring um thank you for putting up with me while i figured out why i had no sound all right have a good week have a good day be safe be a friend to someone who needs a friend and the last thing i have to say is look an echo chamber of derp